CERN blew the world up in 2008. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN, is once again in the news with rumors about mysterious activities within its walls. At the center of these rumors is the fear that CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC, could bring about cosmic destruction. Recent reports suggest that bizarre experiments within the LHC are yielding unprecedented results beyond the boundaries of science, including the discovery of new dimensions. To separate facts from rumors, Joe Rogan, in a recent Joe Rogan Experience podcast, dives into the shadows of the Large Hadron Collider's experiments, unveiling a chilling truth that mainstream media dare not reveal. What mysteries lie within the high-energy collisions of the Large Hadron Collider, and could these experiments hold the key to unlocking the secrets of reality itself? Join us as we look into how JRE exposes something evil that happened at CERN that no one can explain. CERN is one of the most renowned organizations in the world of science. This world-famous scientific institution is located in Geneva, right between Switzerland and France. CERN has gained fame through the years thanks to its cutting-edge work in particle physics. At the forefront of its research is the investigation into the universe's fundamental structure. However, as disclosed by Joe Rogan, recent experiments have sparked both intrigue and concern. Before these recent experiments, CERN has always been proactive at finding answers to proposed and untested theories. One of its most significant breakthroughs was the discovery of the Higgs boson, also called the God particle. This elusive particle, theorized by Fist Peter Higgs in 1964, had remained unobserved for decades. The Higgs boson is an integral component of the standard model of particle physics associated with the Higgs field an energy field supposed to uniformly fill the universe. This field is essential as it attributes particles with mass, a fundamental property necessary for the creation of atoms and the existence of life as far as we know. CERN also has the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, an amazing construction of modern science and engineering. The LHC is made up of a scarlet ring of superconducting magnets and accelerating structures. These structures accelerate the particle beam's velocities to a level close to the speed of light before inducing collision with the help of the high magnetic fields from superconducting electromagnets. The beams of particles are then LED through the separate tubes inside the machine. After that, they are carefully controlled to ensure precision and accuracy. Cooled to a temperature colder than outer space, these superconducting magnets are just a small example of the advanced technology behind CERN's pursuit of scientific discoveries. With the current technology, the collider can collide protons at an energy of about 13,000 GV, the highest proton energy unmatched by any other particle accelerator. With each collision, new particles emerge, allowing physicists to thoroughly examine their properties, similar to the moments just after the Big Bang. Through this process, Scientists go beyond just observing the universe and start to understand its properties at the most fundamental level. To properly study the particles, the multi-layer detectors that surround the collision points allow for the capture and recording of the aftermath of every collision. Through a complex network of technologies, these detectors can catch and classify the many particles created in the collisions. Experimental physicists then carefully study the data coming from these detectors to examine the behavior of different properties, like the Higgs boson. With many particles to observe, the operation of the Large Hadron Collider and the analysis of the data call for a joint venture of thousands of physicists, engineers, and technicians from across the globe. The throughput of data generated by the collider is so massive that the CERN data center is processing approximately one pyte or one million gab of data daily from the experiments. Additionally, LHC operates in cycles by conducting the experiments in bursts followed by long shutdowns to allow for hardware repairs and technical improvements. These shutdowns allow for upgrades that boost the collider's luminosity, resulting in higher collision rates and better data yields for experiments against collision. Thanks to the LHC, the detection of the Higgs boson was possible, and it proved the existence of the Higgs field, which explains the mechanism by which particles acquire mass. This discovery has provided a crucial piece of the puzzle for the standard model of particle physics 
that describes all the fundamental forces and particles in the universe. The discovery also paved the way for more questions regarding the nature of the cosmos, as well as the specific conditions that might have existed early after the Big Bang. Besides the groundbreaking finding of the Higgs boson, CERN's contributions extend across various scientific and practical domains. One notable achievement was the creation of the World Wide Web by Sir Tim Berner-Lee in 1989. Initially designed to enable information sharing among physicists around the world, this invention was the seed that birthed the Internet we have today. It transformed how information was distributed and accessed, which ultimately revolutionized the way communication and information technology work. Also in medicine, CERN's contribution to design and data processing became invaluable in developing positron emission tomography, PT, scans, which are essential for differential diagnosis. The scans, which use particles emitted by a radio tracer to visualize the human body, have been of great assistance in diagnosis and treat diseases like cancer. CERN's expertise in dealing with large data sets has also helped improve computing and data analysis. The techniques that were implemented to process the immense amount of data produced by the particle collisions in the LHC have benefited many industries like aerospace, space, and finance. Another example is CERN's innovation in magnet superconductivity, which is invaluable in the design of magnetic resonance imaging, MRI machines. These machines capture MRIs for medical diagnoses without radiation. The success of superconducting magnets, which are used to channel particle beams in the Large Hadron Collider, has led to the invention of more advanced and powerful magnets for MRI machines. In addition, the research work of CERN has helped scientists take significant steps towards understanding antimatter, leading to advancements in research with potential applications in energy and material science. For example, the antiproton decelerator makes it possible to conduct precise studies of antiproton particles. The learning of fundamental asymmetry between the universe's matter and antimatter is only made possible by such studies. There is no doubt that the research performed at CERN plays a vital role in a centuries-old fight to understand the universe. However, CERN has both admirers and critics. Discussions on platforms like the Joe Rogan podcast have raised questions and controversies surrounding CERN and the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. These questions have sparked concerns about the potential consequences of pushing the boundaries of science. Joe Rogan, among others, has expressed concerns about CERN's groundbreaking pursuits in particle physics, particularly focusing on the theoretical possibility of creating black holes or triggering other catastrophic events. While not backed by scientific evidence, these concerns tap into a common anxiety about exploring uncharted scientific territories. The fear that experiments at CERN could trigger dangerous unforeseen situations reflects a deep agitation about the capabilities of human technology. When we focus on the research projects led by CERN, especially within the workings of the Large Hadron Collider, we see a much more complicated aspect of quantum mechanics. Among many other theories, Quantum mechanics, which is the foundation of physics, underlines the physical properties of nature at the atomic and subatomic scales. It acts as the basis for research projects at CERN, including the LHC experiments. The difference between quantum mechanics and classical physics is established by the introduction of principles such as superposition and entanglement, where particles exist simultaneously in multiple states and exhibit interdependence regardless of spatial distance. However, among many interesting and debatable theories of quantum mechanics, the many worlds theory stands out. This theory suggests that besides our own universe, a vast number of infinite universes possibly exist each representing one of the different outcomes from all the actions, choices, and events. In the case of CERN's experiments, where particles are collided at very high energy, the conversation concerning the implications of quantum mechanics and the many worlds theory adds context to the discourse surrounding the research involved. Even though groundless worries abound, in-depth scientific research remains the only way to assess the risks and benefits of CERN's adventure. The many worlds theory predicts that micro-events such as the outcomes of particle collisions at CERN, can result in various diverging worlds that remain forever parallel and independent. 
these connected universes feature everyone's distinct possibilities happening simultaneously. For example, a CERN experiment in one universe may result in an outcome, while the same experiment could generate a different outcome in another universe. This idea reflects the quantum mechanical principle concerning superposition, where the particles are kept in their various potential statuses until observed. The implications of the many worlds theory for the experiments at CERN are numerous, yet mostly theoretical. If true, the high energy collisions in the Large Hadron Collider should be able to uncover deep mysteries about our universe. They can even be used to communicate with these parallel realities. But while the notion provides fascinating prospects, it is still within the theoretical context. Furthermore, the Many Worlds interpretation offers a unique perspective on causality and decision-making in a universe where each combination of physical laws and natural selection is played out in a unique multiverse. The meanings of choice and consequence evolve to a new level of complexity. Another significant puzzle in quantum mechanics, and by extension in experiments conducted at CERN, is the measurement problem. This problem stems from the principle that particle qualities are not known to be exact when they are not observed. Before measurement, particles simultaneously occupy multiple states. They have no state, but their attributes appear when they are observed or measured. The quantum paradox complicates our understanding of what truly occurs in experiments such as those conducted in the Large Hadron Collider. The observed outcomes may represent just one of many potential results prompting profound questions about the nature of reality and our capacity to understand it fully. So far, the discussions about the nature of CERN's experiments have raised the issue of quantum mechanics and the many worlds theory. Many believe these two issues play a significant role in figuring out the true character of CERN's experiences. With the notion of parallel universes in mind, Joe Rogan and Max Laughlin speculate about the possibility that scientists at CERN have inadvertently created a pathway to a parallel universe. Max Laughlin, an outstanding physicist, especially in theoretical physics, is known for his unconventional conceptions of CERN experiments. Lauded as a prodigy in the scientific environment, young Laughlin earned fame the moment he showed signs of a quick understanding of complex scientific concepts. Laughlin's theories about CERN propose alarming scenarios, particularly concerning the experiments conducted with the Large Hadron Collider. He suggests that the high-energy collisions within the collider could potentially open portals to other dimensions, leading to interactions with unknown realms of reality. However, the mainstream scientific community, characterized by rigorous evidence and peer review standards, remains skeptical of Laughlin's theories. Most physicists and researchers view his ideas as speculative and lacking empirical evidence necessary for scientific validation. While CERN's experimental approaches are revolutionary, the scientific community confidently points out that they are within the practice and scope of the established laws of physics. Speculations about the risks of CERN's experiments include fears of creating black holes, disrupting the space-time continuum, or inadvertently accessing alternate dimensions. The idea that the LHC experiments might create black holes is based on theories regarding high-energy collisions producing short-lived tiny black holes and Hawking radiation. However, CERN physicists and a wider community of physicists tend to dismiss such concerns. They point out that similar black holes have also been generated by higher-energy cosmic rays naturally occurring in Earth's atmosphere, which have not been observed to cause harm. Disrupting the space-time continuum is another speculative risk associated with CERN's experiments. This is often depicted in science fiction movies as causing significant alterations in reality. However, within actual scientific terms, such disruption would entail changes in the fundamental forces or constants of nature that govern the universe. While it remains a fascinating theoretical curiosity, there is no empirical evidence or theoretical framework within current physics that validates the idea of such disruption. Meanwhile, the concern about accidentally accessing alternate dimensions stems from theories in physics proposing the existence of additional dimensions beyond the familiar three-dimensional space and one-dimensional time. Some theories, such as string theory, 
suggest that these extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden at scales currently inaccessible to our experiments. As such, accessing these dimensions through experiments at CERN remains purely theoretical and lacks empirical support within current scientific understanding. As scientists push the boundaries of knowledge, questions arise about the responsibilities associated with such power. Ethical considerations include potential environmental impacts, experiment safety, and broader consequences of scientific discoveries. There's an ongoing debate concerning the balance between scientific pursuit and the caution necessary when dealing with forces and particles that are not well understood. While the pursuit of knowledge is essential, it must be met with an awareness of the potential broader impacts of groundbreaking research. Joe Rogan has discussed these moral and philosophical aspects in his podcast sessions, speculating about the ethical dimensions of CERN's work. He pondered on scientists' responsibility when engaging in experiments that could have dangerous and unforeseen effects. Rogan also provides a critical perspective, questioning the moral implications of such pursuits and the potential risks involved in expanding our understanding. One of his significant concerns lies in the Mandela effect. This phenomenon refers to a situation where a large group remembers an event or detail differently from its recorded history or reality. Coined by Fiona Broom in 2009, the Mandela effect stems from widespread false collective memories, like Nelson Mandela's alleged death in prison in the 1980s, despite his dying in 2013. This effect underscores the unreliability of human memory, influenced by various factors leading to shared false recollections of events or details among large groups differing significantly from documented history. The prevalence of these false memories raises intriguing questions about the nature of human memory and perception. Psychologists attribute this phenomenon to cognitive biases, memory distortions, and social influences. The human brain is skilled at filling in gaps in memory with false information that seems likely and aligns with existing beliefs or popular narratives. In the context of CERN and its experiments, especially those involving the Large Hadron Collider, some believe there's a connection between the Mandela effect and alterations in quantum states. The theory suggests that high-energy particle collisions could influence the fabric of reality leading to small but significant modifications in our timeline or collective memory. According to this theory, changes at a quantum level, possibly occurring during experiments at CERN, could spread to the macroscopic level. The result is widespread collective false memories among the public, similar to the Mandela effect. This connection between the Mandela effect and CERN's Large Hadron Collider experiments is rooted in the complex and often mysterious nature of quantum mechanics. Some think these experiments could affect reality in subtle ways. They say that what happens at the collider might not just be tiny, but could also have bigger effects. One idea suggests that when particles collide in the collider, they might briefly mess with how space and time work. This disturbance could be tiny and quick, but it might change how people collectively remember things, like historical events or cultural stuff. Another part of this theory comes from quantum entanglement, where particles get connected and affect each other instantaneously, regardless of their distance. Some people think that when particles collide in the Large Hadron Collider, they might create these links that spread out and could change reality in surprising ways. There's also the idea that if there are parallel universes or other dimensions like some versions of quantum physics suggest, then the collider experiments might briefly touch these other realities. This interaction could lead to small overlaps or swaps between different timelines, which could show up as shared false memories. But some experts say there's no solid proof for these ideas. They argue that the Mandela effect might be better explained by how our brains work rather than any weird physics. They also say that based on what we know about quantum mechanics, it's unlikely that particle collisions could mess with human history or memory on a big scale. Despite these arguments, Certain alarming incidents have occurred at CERN that have increased concerns about the activities taking place within the facility. While the Large Hadron Collider has contributed significantly to our understanding of particle physics, its operation still raises questions about potential unintended consequences, particularly at maximum energy. One primary concern 
is the potential impact of these high-energy experiments on Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield, protecting the planet from solar winds and cosmic radiation. There is concern that the intense energy and magnetic fields generated by the Large Hadron Collider could interfere with or damage this natural protective shield. Another area of concern is the potential impact of the Large Hadron Collider on solar storms. Solar storms are eruptions of electromagnetic radiation and matter from the sun, which can disrupt satellite communications, navigation systems, and even power grids on Earth. There is a worry that any disturbances caused by the Large Hadron Collider to Earth's magnetic field could leave our planet more vulnerable to these solar events. The concern is that such vulnerability could lead to more significant and frequent technological disruptions, potentially affecting millions. The LHC's design and operation result from decades of scientific research and technological development overseen by some of the world's leading physicists. CERN has conducted extensive safety assessments and external reviews, leading to the conclusion that the Large Hadron Collider experiments are safe. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos like this one.